between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or here they are. I made that for my... Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <sighs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. 
Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get... What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shem Appel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... 
Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. Have you considered telecommuting? I feel like you could keep us safer from Florida. If you were a man, it's I... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. <laughs>